In today's video, I will show you a super simple way to get that panel line accent with no mess. So let's get right into it. First, I have a Jeep body here. This is the Jeep Wrangler Ravel kit. And this is for demonstration purposes. I will just show you how to demo the panel lines on this. This is not painted. And it, this one I'm about to show you does better when it is painted. But this body is not painted, but I will still show you how to do it. A lot of times you can take ink, black ink, dilute it, and, you know, dump in the seam here and, you know, wipe off the excess. Um, you can also use Tamiya panel line accent. It does the same thing. You just dump it in the seam. Seam is really diluted and it just runs in it follows it. You can also use paint. You know, dilute it, paint to make like a wash and do the same thing. Everyone's seen these liquid chrome pens by Molotow. Um, they're talked about in every forum, every fa uh, Facebook mulling group. Everybody's heard of these. What I haven't seen is people talking about these Molotow black liner permit sets. They, they come in a pack of two sets. There's a set one and set two. Here we have a 0 0.05 tip, a 0 0.1 tip, a 0 0.2 tip, and a 0 0.4 tip. Now the set two goes just on up. It's just the bigger sizes. And you can find these in the art section. They are water-based, though. You can use anything over them. They don't take forever to dry. Oh, they're also, the, they apply to the ASTMD4236. That's just like the non-toxic stuff. But anyway, let's get back to the, what I'm talking about. As you can see, they're all marked up here. You can use these to get that panel line accent. I, I do not see very many people doing this. I actually have not seen anyone do this. And I didn't even think no one even did this till I got home. I thought about this while I was in the store. I got home, Googled it, found one dude on YouTube that did it seven years ago. I didn't even know about that before I picked these up. You can see how fine this tip is. I'll show you this tip compared to a Sharpie tip. It's a huge difference. Here's a Sharpie pen tip. Big difference. You probably can buy these just by itself. If you can just find this one, that's all you need. I'll show you how to use it. I like to scribe the lines out with a back of a Zacto knife before I do do this. They're already small enough to go in the groove so you can really get in there. But I'll show you how easy it is. It fits in the hole. Like I said, this does work better when it is painted. As you can see, it just follows the line. You just keep going back and forth. It's as simple as that. It does work better when the, there is paint and on this. I like to do it after I clear coat it. That's the best time to do it. It works the best that way. But as you can see, it still does it even though there's no paint on here. It just kind of slides around because of the plastic. But as you can see, it does work. And this is water-based, so it don't take forever to dry, unlike the chrome pins. As you can see, it's super simple to do that now. Without any mess, without any wiping off, it's quick. This is the best solution I think to panel lines. If you're into the panel line stuff, I highly recommend this. Look how easy that was. You can do your whole model truly in like one minute. It fits right in the grooves of the model kits here, as you can see. Oh, oh got a little hand, got a little out of control right there. But as you can see here, it goes right in those panel lines. Super easy. If you got bigger panel lines, you can use different sizes. But mainly the one you need is the 0 0.5. This is super simple. I wish I knew about this long before now. I've been using ink to do it. Been just, you know, you can take ink and run it in the little guru, like I said before, and do that. A lot of people do do that. If you don't want to quit doing that, you don't have to, but. As you can see how easy this replaces a whole bunch of crap. It's easily stored. 
a little pricey, but they're so much worth it. Look at how easy this is. Get a real close up shot here. Oh, got a little out of control there, but I would take more of my time if this was real. I said that in every one of my demonstration videos. Hopefully this video taught you something new that you didn't know. That's why I make all these videos, just to try to help people the easiest way as possible. I also would like to show my paint mixer. It's not a long enough video to be in itself. I made this like the other day. I needed that paint shaker. I mean, I could just easily bought a $20 nail polish paint shaker off Amazon. Why buy one when you can make your own? <laughs> this is just a reciprocating saw. I'm taking the bottle and duct taped it to the blade. Also duct taped the blade here. So you can use any type of bottle you want, but it will fit. This bottle I got on here will fit ammo mix bottles. Also will fit Valero bottles. As you can see. Also will fit the bottles you can get off Amazon. You can mix your own paint in. This is a excellent paint, sh paint shaker. Gets the job done pretty good. I just wanted to show that because it wasn't long enough to put in the video to make its own video. Just wanted to show it so someone make an idea. If you just have one laying around, I have one laying around. I never really use it. If I do use one, it's the corded version, not the battery powered version. But back to the black liner. Hope you liked it. If you liked this video, please give it a like. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. I thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. It means a lot. Have a good day.